Hi guys, Martin here coming to you with my inbox review for the Ravel, newly tooled this year. 132nd Fockwolf FW190 F8, kit number 04869. I've taken everything out of the box, I've looked through it, I can say that the uh, sprues are very crisp and clean as we'd expect from a new tool. There's just um, one part and that's the under wing section that has some sink and I'll show you that in a minute. So uh, I'm going to go through the instructions first. Quick look, it's a 16 page black and white booklet as always with Ravel. The history in German and English, and some technical specs, the usual stuff, and um, and then some read before you start uh, symbols that are used during the uh, assembly, and um, and then the color layout. I've already converted my Ravel colors to the colors I want to use, and uh, and then we have the sprue three diagrams, uh, full page, and then a couple at the top of page uh, six. Um, there's 12 grey sprues and there's three clear sprues. We'll look at those more closely in a moment. We have two options of underwing stores and uh, you choose what you want to do at the beginning. You can have a 500 pound bomb with two drop tanks or you can have a 250 pound bomb under the fuselage with four 50 pound bombs, two on each wing. And then you can choose to use a stand or not. If you do use a, ch use a stand you have to drill a couple of two and a half millimeter holes um, on the underside of the wings for the stand to locate into. I'm going to be freestanding mine on the undercarriage because it's going into a diorama but what I will do is pilot drill those holes with a 0.3 drill so later down the road if I want the option to use the stand I can and, uh, and then this diagram is for um, if you're going to be using the drop tanks and the 500 pound underwing uh, bomb and that one is the old uh, drilling diagram for the four 50 pound bombs and the one 250 pound bomb and then section four five six seven eight nine are for the cockpit tub um, there's some decals supplied for putting in there for dials instrument dials and buttons switches and then we go on to the wheel assemblies sections 10, 11, 12 for the front and rear wheel assemblies and then section 13 we assembled the uh, instrument panel and the rear wheel I don't like that but the rear wheel has to be assembled and enclosed right at the beginning of the assembly they're always prone to getting snapped when you're you've still got a lot of work all the handling painting etc so that's something I don't like on um, the design of some uh, models. So then we're assembling the two halves together and then the tub comes up from the underneath. And uh, then we assemble the gun mount in front of the cockpit tub. And then we move on to assembling the uh, brace bracing, the wing spar. It goes across the wing assembly at the bottom to brace it and uh, and then put in, in the wheel well um, compartments on top and then dropping in the wheel front wheel location brackets and then moving on to uh, engine support mounts in section 23 and 24 and then section 25 is assembling the lower wing section to the underside of the fuselage and then it's moving on to adding ailerons they come in two halves, upper lower and then fitting them onto that lower wing assembler both sides, port side and starboard side 
and then assembling the um, upper wing arms over that and, to, and then section 29 of the assembly is then assembling the flaps into position you can have them closed or open I, I like the flaps down I like to show as much detail as possible all right on page 10 we then move on to the horizontal stabilizers and elevator assemblies the rudder assemblies these all come in two halves and then assembling them onto the tail end of the fuselage assembler and then we move on to the engine the BMW engine uh, assembling all those details it looks really nicely detailed like it was on the Arado AR196A3 that I built so I'm looking forward to painting and detailing that and uh, this gives you the option to have cowlings open to display that so there we go sections 33 to 34 uh, sorry 37 are assembling that engine and then putting some um, fuselage engine fuselage mounts onto the front of the fuselage assembly dropping the engine in and then putting the front nose around the engine and then it goes on to assembling uh, wheels the main wheels onto the struts and then inside the uh, undercarriage doors and then um, moving on to assembling them you can either have them closed or you can have the undercarriage down I'll be having the undercarriage down because it's going to be standing in my diorama so that's sections 40 through to um, 46 deal with the wheel assembly undercarriage and then 47 goes on to the front bulletproof shield 48 is a upper front end engine cowling which is fixed and then 49 moves on to the side cowlings lower side cowlings which um, can be displayed open or closed I'll have them open and turn on to page 12 <coughs> excuse me it's then mounting the two upper machine guns on top above the engine and uh, well behind the engine at the top and in front of the uh, canopy and then we have the upper cowlings port side and uh, starboard side which can be open or closed again I'll have mine open and then we have an upper engine cowling again that can be either shut closed or you can have it um, inched back across the front bulletproof shield to display the um, machine guns and I'll be doing that then it moves on to some of the underside parts the small parts the pilot step to get onto the wing uh, the uh, underneath UF aerial um, and then a the uh, overflow tube for the f fuel tanks and a another aerial antenna the circular antenna which you see on the top of BF 109s but on the um, FW 190 it goes on the underside of the fuselage and then the pitot tube and the uh, lenses for the lights port side starboard side which is nice paint the back of those lenses and it looks like you've got nice glass lenses with some colour behind for the different lights and then it moves on to the uh, sliding canopies it offers two versions you can have the flat um, top canopy or you can have the rounded canopy I'll probably go for the rounded canopy um, I like the look of that and, uh, and then also assembling inside that the actuator for that sliding canopy and uh, the pilot's bulletproof shield that goes behind his head again you can have those open or closed so we then move on to section 62 through to right through to 74 deals with assembling the pylons and the brackets for holding the bombs assembling the drop tanks assembling the 50 pound bombs assembling the 500 pound bomb and uh, assembling the 250 pound bombs there's four of those 
uh, and then pulling them down on the underside depending on which one you want to do. Two drop tanks and the 500 pound or the four 50 pound bombs with the 250 pound bomb on the centre of the underside of the fuselage. And then the last part of the assembly of the airplane itself is the propeller. That's the last part we put on. And then if you're going to use the stand 76, 77 and 78 show you the assembly for the stand. Uh, as I said earlier, I won't be using the stand, but I'll leave the option open to use it further down the line, should I choose to do so. Alright, then pages 14 and 15 show the two options that are available for the colour markings. They're very similar, they're from the same uh, squadron, and uh, we have black 6 and black 2. I'm going to be going for black 6 because it has mottling down the side and the Black 2 doesn't have the mottling, it just has a big spot there behind the 2 and a couple of spots of mottling around the tail. Well, they do have yellow tails and the yellow band around the uh, nose end. <clears throat> uh, so they're very similar, just the mottling's more um, aggressive on the Black 6. And that's it, so it's the Licht Blau on the underside, RLM 76. And then the top side, it's an RLM 83 grau violet and an RLM 75. Uh, as always, black and white would be nice if Ravel Germany could supply just a two page colour uh, pull out that could be folded up and put inside the instructions. And so you can run your black and white and run one colour sheet, fold it, and drop it in. <coughs> Wouldn't be that much expensive if it's another 50 cents. I'm not bothered. It's nice to see colour. Alright, so let's move on to the day cows and after that we'll go on to looking at these sprue trees. So here's the day cows, black 6, black 2, two options and then some common uh, day cows. I've looked at these, they're really good, they're printed in Italy so I'm assuming they're cartograph. The carrier film is all zero or almost zero except inside the crosses with this full carrier film inside the but if you want to, once you put it on the plane, you can carefully cut that out and peel it off. Um, which I've done a few times. And um, instrument panel decals here and here that are available if you want to use those. They're very flat, very smooth and uh, they're a matte with a bit of a satin finish to them. Which is great, they're not glossy at all. It's a nice matte satin finish. So they look really good and with the previous 130 second builds I've done, I've had no problem whatsoever with the day cows, they've gone on really great. Alright, so we're going to move on to the sprue trees, I'm going to go through them in order and I'll intersperse some uh, still images as we go through the trees so you can see what I'm seeing as I look, look at them. So I'm going to take a quick break while I get the sprue trees ready. Hang it, stick around and we'll look at those. Thanks. Okay guys, we're back and we're going to look at the sprue trees in order. This is sprue A, it's the underside wings and it's uh, part of the horizontal stabilizers, two halves. Now this is the only um, sprue that I did find uh, a little bit of an issue with and it, it's not that big but just here in this area we have um, <clears throat> we have two shiny spots and a little bit of sink and what's that what that's from is on the underside we have a raised pad here <clears throat> if you can see that I'll do a close up and um, <clears throat> excuse me and because of that thicker section there it's creating a hot spot and it's coming out of the mold hot so it's not 
uh, cooling and it's it, it's not creating the having chance to create that nice surface finish that you get on these um, Ravel moldy parts. It's a nice sort of satiny finish created by the EDM uh, process, electro discharge machining process. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of marking round here with these features on there. But other than that, it's a beautiful looking part. No flash, no warp that I can notice, and uh, nice fine recess panel lines and um, rivet details. So let's have a close look at that one. Right, so the next sprue then is sprue B, and this is the port side fuselage. It looks really crisp. There's no flash, um, but nice recessed panel lines, rivet details, access panels, and uh, and then we have some engine fuselage parts here. We have horizontal stabilizers and uh, elevators and uh, upper fuselage, upper cowlings, sorry, engine cowlings. And again, very nice looking parts. So I'm not going to grumble at them. Let's have a quick look at that sprue in detail. Alright, so now we'll take a look at sprue C. And this is the starboard side fuselage. And just like the port side, it's very crisp, very nicely done. Um, recessed panel lines, some access panels, a bit of rivet detail, again more engine cowlings and we have some flaps here and uh, the upper one, of, this is the upper rear engine cowling, the one that's behind the that covers the machine guns and hinges back across the front of the bulletproof shield which is what I'll do but again, lovely looking part, part so we'll uh, take a look at that in a little close detail. So the next sprue is sprue D and uh, again Beautiful parts, beautiful moldy parts. It's a brand new tool and we wouldn't expect anything less of what we're seeing. Nicely recessed panel lines on the um, upper wing um, sections. And uh, we have the rudder halves here, two halves that go together. We have uh, one of the horizontal stabilizer uh, flaps, two halves of those. And we have some um, ailerons here and flaps for the main wing and then we have one of the side fuselage engine um, panels and again they look really nice in detail I've looked at them closely and they look great so let's have a look at a couple of images for you guys to look at Okay, so now on to sprue E. Sprue E is the stand, which I won't be using. Uh, the pillar that goes in the sand, stand, the arm to sit the plane on with the two pivot points. We have the upper front cowling, engine cowling, with the gun ports, two gun ports. We have the uh, wing brace, the spar that goes across the wings for attaching the fuselage to giving some strength and rigidity in the wing assembler. And then we have the other side, the bubbled um, engine cowling. I think that clears an exhaust section that comes around from the engine. 
So that's that sprue. Um, I'm not going to show this close up in detail. I'll just do a sprue shot of it. Um, it's pretty plain. So take a look at the sprue shot of that one and we'll move on to the next sprue. So here's the next sprue, sprue F, and this is the largest sprue out of the 12 grey sprues that are in the box. And uh, as you can see, this has all the engine detail parts. It has a cockpit tub, instrument panels, and uh, pilot seat, and the propeller, and the parts for the propeller assembler to mount on the front of the engine. It also has the part of the inner wing brace for mounting the fuselage too, and then we have the wheel wells, uh, the undercarriage doors with lots of nice sort of detail inside there. I'll do a close up of this sprue all over so you can see these parts. Again, these parts look really, really nice. Uh, we have some um, struts here for the engine mounting struts, machine guns and uh, we also have the actuator assembler for the sliding canopy. And I've looked through these parts, they look fabulous, really nicely molded, and uh, the propeller, you know, you've got these profiled surfaces where the two halves come together on profiled surfaces. That'd be one of the places you'd expect to see some flash, but none whatsoever, they're really crisp, clean, parting lines around the profiles of those blades and again with all these highly detailed parts uh, they're very nice on the engine blocks, cylinder blocks uh, and then the hydraulic pipe work and exhaust assemblies it's very nice indeed so I'm looking forward to building that um, engine assembly so let's look at some close-ups of that sprue Okay, the next sprue is sprue K, and there's two of these sprues. And uh, this one has the drop tanks on, it has the um, 50 pound bombs, a couple of 50 pound bombs, the 250 pound bomb, and then the um, pylons and uh, brackets for fixing those um, bombs and um, drop tanks too, so let's have a look at that close up. Okay, our next sprue is sprue L and sprue L. There's two of these again, and this is the tyres. We have treaded tyres and we have smooth tyres, and then we have the wheel hubs, and then we have the rear wheel tyres and hub and a couple of brackets that go on the wheel assemblies and uh, again two of those so let's have a look they're really crisp nicely detailed parts with nice tread there so we'll look at that close up with some images this is the last but one sprue it's sprue N and uh, this has the wheel bay doors if you want to do them in the open or closed position the closed doesn't have any features inside uh, but the open ones do and then we have another drop tank here different design of drop tank oh sorry it's not a different design you can have two drop tanks one under each wing so this is the second drop tank we have the wheel axles um, uh, the rear wheel there and these are the wheel uh, location brackets that drop inside the wheel bay um, the, another half of the rear wheel assembly and um, all parts of the wheel assemblies and undercarriage features and the drop tank and again, I've looked at these parts closely and they look really nicely detailed, rivet details, 
some panel lines and uh, I'm really happy with the way these look and the way they've been moulded so I'm going to let you guys look at that sprue now and so we're on to the last grey sprue which is sprue O and again this is a drop tank, no sorry this is a 500 pound bomb it goes on the centre of the fuselage on the underside you've got the choice of the 500 or the 250 and then we have the pile on the rack for carrying that bomb and attaching it to the fuselage again nicely moulded parts a little bit of detail on them uh, not a lot, just features for locating the brackets too so we'll do a quick shot of that for you So we're now on to the cleared parts and this is uh, sprue G and uh, this is two choices of sliding canopy with the flat section upper I'm going to use the more rounded section I've looked at these closely and they're extremely clear, very nicely moulded so I have no qualms with those so let's take a couple of shots of that sprue for you guys now we're on the second of the three clear sprues, this is sprue I this, these are two sliding canopies they're the same they're just offering you a more rounded version of a canopy which is the one I'm going to choose to use and again they're crystal clear very nicely moulded parts indeed so I'm happy with those so I'm going to do a couple of quick images for you guys to look at and now we're on the final clear sprue, this is sprue J, the final of the three clear sprues um, the bulletproof windshield is moulded on that, this did come off now this one does have some distortion in it um, a little bit of waving, waviness going through all three sides of that so it's not very clear, well it is clear but it's distorted and uh, I'm guessing that that wasn't packed out very well and the reason being they're trying to get a fine balance we've got all the small lens parts on here and as you can see there's a lot of flash around those lens features and uh, so what they've done, they've done a balancing act if you put more pressure in the sprue to pack this out to get rid of that distortion you're going to get a lot of flash around these smaller parts um, they could have done a little bit more with the tool to overcome that I could describe what they could have done but I'm not going to go into detail this is just an inbox review not a technical education program but uh, anyway so let's take a couple of shots for you guys of that sprue and that'll be it So there we go guys, that's my inbox review for the Revell Fock Wolf FW190F8 132 scales, kit number 04869. And if you stuck around to the end, thanks for watching, and I hope it's useful for anybody thinking of buying this kit. I'm going to go away now, wash the parts, let them dry, and I'll start my build. So I hope you'll follow me, and I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I think I'm going to enjoy building it. So tally guys, chocks away.